And now, erotic tales with Swanee Boom Boom. Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. So wonderful of you to join me. I'm just winding down for the evening, after a long day, reading sexy stories from this month's issue of Finger Butt. S a story like this. I was in my early twenties, and despite all the partying I had done, I was still a virgin. All my friends had known the pleasures of sex, but I, well, I was waiting for that perfect moment. That perfect moment finally came when I was driving home from work one day. There she was, brown hair, athletic legs, basking in the country sun. I immediately stopped my car, got out, and walked over to talk to her. She was the silent type, but before I knew it, we were walking into the woods, alone. I wasn't sure what was happening, but that look in her big brown eyes soon told me that the moment I had dreamed of was about to happen. Then it happened. As I thrust into her, her body twitching in certain areas, I felt as though I was flying through the heavens. After it was over, she played the silent game, but I could tell she enjoyed every minute of it. I kissed her on the head and left. I drove by after work every day and didn't see her. I began to think I'd never see her again until the day of the county fair. There she was at the petting zoo, surrounded by children. They were all petting her, brushing her hair, and she looked so happy. She paid no attention to me, and I knew that my lust for Maybelle the Pony could never be satisfied again. Bubba Joe Slim, Dayton, Ohio. What a wonderful story of love. Well, I guess it's about that time. I need a good night fap, and then it's off to bed. <laughs>